You're looking for Sir Hughes, aren't you? Get in line. We've been waiting for him to come and clarify our orders for days. He returned, all right, but mumbling incoherently. Know what that means? Just more confusion. I think Hughes has lost it. The Duchess is dead? Hughes killed her? Oh, for Mara's sake, I didn't think he was that crazy. I guess that explains why his orders were so confusing. Good thing we didn't march on the Red Guards at Alcair Castle. So, I guess if Sir Hughes killed the Duchess then, crazy or not, the Duke is going to want him to answer for that. I guess this means we're going to have to find a new leader. He went into the keep. Sir Croy might be protecting him, though. Finding Hughes may be difficult until we clear up all the confusion here. You should talk to Sir Edmund. He's just up the steps. Taking a stand for what's right is never easy. If you've come to Firebrand Keep to petition for help from the Knights of the Flame, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Our leader, Sir Hughes, seems to have gone mad, and the Knights are divided over whether or not to follow his last order. This is far worse than I thought, and makes our cause all the more critical. Sir Hughes just returned to the Keep acting strangely. He's in there with Sir Croy, who is making preparations to attack the Red Guards at Alcair Castle. Indeed. Myself and these others were exiled for standing against Sir Croy, but we are too few at present to retake the keep. There are other knights in the keep who are questioning Sir Croy. Could you go in and look for those who would join us? If Sir Hughes really wants us to go to war, I'd prefer he told us himself. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. I hear King Faharajad's been plotting to take over Alcair for years. You would have me disobey direct orders and turn against Sir Croy? You sound like that coward Sir Edmund. You are an enemy to the Order, and I will see you slain. Defend yourself, then. <laughs> Preparing the entire order to go to war isn't easy. This is going to take some time. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. Preparing the entire order to go to war isn't easy. This is going to take some time. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. I hear King Faharajad's been plotting to take over all care for years. I'm a Knight of the Flame. We're sworn to protect our care. If Sir Hughes really wants us to go to war, I'd prefer he told us himself. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. I knew more of my fellow knights would come to see the insanity Sir Croy means to unleash at Alcair Castle. I think we have enough knights now to retake the keep. I've sent them to take up strategic positions. Indeed. Taking up arms against our fellow knights is something I know none of us wishes to do. But Sir Croy has forced this upon us. This is unpleasant business, but let's get on with it. I've told the knights positioned around the castle to attack on our signal. There's a siege horn mounted atop Firebrand Keep's main hall. If you are willing, I would ask you to go there and blow the horn. That will signal everyone to attack.
We caught them by surprise, and I think we have the upper hand. I've been wounded, though. I don't think I'd be of any more use in the battle. I've done what I could, but I failed to find Sir Croy. Now I fear he would best me quite easily. I need you to do this. I believe the other knights will stand down if we can defeat Sir Croy. Will you face him for me? He's in the Eastern Garrison. Kill him. Put an end to this. There's another siege horn on top of the garrison. When Croy is killed, blow that horn. The knights will pause and I'll use that moment to call for an end to the fighting. The outsider who rallies my knights to rebellion. I grieve for Sir Croy and all those who died fighting for him, but there was no other way to save the Knights of the Flame. Thank you for doing what I could not. Indeed. With Sir Croy slain, I am assuming command of Firebrand Keep for now. Needless to say, preparations to march to Alcair Castle have been called off. Killing my fellow knights to restore order was hard enough. But this matter with Sir Hughes is unthinkable. He's down in the infirmary. I'm told he was raving about killing the Duchess before he fell unconscious. I... I don't know what to do. Then I suppose you must. Whatever crimes he may be guilty of, you should know that Sir Hughes was always an honorable knight. I simply must believe that his recent actions are caused by some form of insanity. The infirmary is below the Great Hall. Speak to the healer there, Odette. Get her assessment of his condition. Again, I would plead with you, if his actions are truly driven by madness, show mercy.
If you are wounded, you may take a bed in the corner. I will tend to you as soon as I can. I'm sorry to say that Sir Hughes is in no condition to talk. I tried to help him, but this is simply beyond my ability to treat. It seems to be some type of curse. He came in mumbling to himself, and soon he was just... gone. I do not think you could cause his condition to be any worse, so you are welcome to do what you like. I warn you, though, curses like this are very unpredictable. If you start to feel dizzy, I would suggest stepping away. marriage was a mistake. He's put us all at risk. King Faharajad is planning to invade our care. Duchess Lakana is a spy. Lakana has everyone fooled. She and her father are plotting against us. Duchess Lakana is orchestrating an attack on all care. She must be stopped. The Duchess has betrayed us. I have to stop her. Whatever it takes. I know what you are planning. What are you doing here? Leave my room at once. I won't allow Alcare to fall into Redguard hands. Alcare in Redguard hands? Tears of Set. You've gone mad. I'm sorry. But this is the only way. No! Please! I know she did, or I think I know. Is this real? No. It's a never-ending nightmare, whether I sleep or not. I killed Duchess Lakana. The omen whispered in my mind, poisoning my thoughts. Now it tortures me, forcing me to watch the murder again and again. The omen of fear, always with me, always whispering. Telling me about the Red Guards, about Lakana. I believed it, but it was lying. I murdered an innocent woman and betrayed the Duke. Now it's hiding, but it's not gone. We have to kill it. You have to kill it. My sword. In the dream, I left it in the throne room. The omen is drawn to it. Find the sword and find the omen. Kill the omen. May the eight bless you. My mind is free, but my sins remain. Yes, I'm all right, but not absolved. I ordered the Knights of the Flame to rebellion. I murdered the Duchess. I betrayed the Duke. These stains on my honor cannot be washed away. The 
The Duchess died by my hand. My crime is unforgivable, and I accept full responsibility. Do what must be done. Sir Edmund sent for me, and I came as soon as I could. Sir Hughes does not plead for clemency, yet he says his mind was not his own. As strong as my anger may be, I sense truth in your words, and some change in Sir Hughes's character. But he murdered my wife, and for that, I can find no forgiveness. He asked me to take his life and restore honor to the Knights of the Flame. But my emotions are too strong. I cannot trust myself to make the right decision. You were in his dream. You saw what drove him to murder. You must decide his fate. Very well. Thank you for your counsel. Rise, old friend. You will not die this day. Then my punishment is living in disgrace. This decision could not have been easy for you, and it will not be easy on Duke Nathaniel. Sir Hughes is a good man, though, and I am glad he will live. I fear that King Faharajad will not be pleased with this outcome. I will do my best to explain the circumstances, but there may be political repercussions. I cannot allow one who committed so grievous a crime to ever serve me again. Sir Hughes may live, but he will never stand in my court again. I hereby strip him of his knighthood. I exile him from Alcair. He may never return upon penalty of death. He faces a kinder fate than the one that befell my wife. Though the immediate danger is past, I fear this might be more than an isolated event. Sir Hugh's driven mad by nightmares, and I've heard the constable in Coglin Village was similarly affected. We need to know more about this so-called omen. The spirit wardens of Pariah Abbey. They dabble in Daedric rituals, but they're benevolent. Speak to Brother Moron at the Abbey. Ask him if the appearance of this omen should be cause for wider concerns. If so, we should warn High King Emmerich. I fear that justice would have been better served by my death. I pray your judgment does not prove to be a mistake for the future of the Covenant. <laughs> 